This is the Transformers of the Last Night Legion Class Crosshairs. The figure is part of the second wave of these Legion Class series of figures from the new Transformers of the Last Night movie toy line. He comes with an interesting set of instructions, very nicely printed, but it is missing one crucial step of transformation. From this point to this point to this point to this point, it does not show how you that you need to fold down this entire hood, roof, and trunk piece. This whole piece acts as his uh, trench coat, and it's elevated up to his shoulders, and you need to push that downwards to form, to, to click into, to, to you need it to, to fold, fold it down and have it click into place to form the car mode. They missed that, but I guess Hasbro thinks uh, their, the, the, their patrons or Transformers collectors are, Smart enough to figure that one out, so there. Anyway, does not come with these guns, obviously. These are the guns from Huffer and Pipes, the legends uh, from the uh, Combiner Wars and, uh, uh, and just Generations. Uh, the other one was Combiner Wars, the other one was... Titans Return? No, not Titans Return. I know, I forgot. But uh, one was Combiner Wars, one was just IDW or something. So anyway, Huffer and Pipes, but it, it's cool. It works well uh, with this figure. I'm going to take that out. Looking at the figure itself, it feels like it's a brand new mold. I don't know. I did not get the crosshairs uh, for Age of Extinction, the Legion class figure. Somebody tell me if this is just a repack or a repaint, but it kind of feels like it's new. I don't know. I could be wrong. Uh... The alt mode feels like it's been recycled, so who knows. But this is my first Legion class uh, crosshairs. Uh, he's got great, great uh, sculpting and detail on him. At first, in packing, I thought, man, that kibble is way too big for him. And then when I realized, when I opened him up, it it's like his trench coat. They're trying to do the same thing in the Legion class as with the Deluxe class. It's sort of like his trench coat, his signature thing. So, okay, that's a great way to use kibble. Uh, detail wise it got nicely sculpted a nicely sculpted head very nice even with that um, those goggles uh, very nice like a paratrooper goggles he has part of his trench coat molded in right there paint apps for the figure not a lot to complain about it's just green and black it's green plastic painted in black glo gla glossy black paint which is very very nice i'm just really liking this i was thinking i'd open i'd get these because they look great in packaging i'd open them up i'd be very disappointed in them and i'd probably sell them and the looks of things they're looking pretty impressive pretty sharp looking ones actually just keep them i don't know but very very nice okay so articulation he's got a ball jointed shoulder uh, his head can move forward and backward a bit because of transformation, no waist swivel, ball jointed hips, and a bit of foot articulation because of transformation. So let's transform him. What you want to do is fold down the chest piece, fold down the head. I like that extra bit of transformation. I mean, that shows Hasbro, Hasbro just cares about their fans, about their collectors. So that's pretty cool. Okay, next thing you want to do is you want to, the instructions say to just join the feet together but I think you know it's easier if you do this you just fold feet together and just slide that tab right in there okay the next step which should have been step four is to move this uh, roof and hood and trunk assembly or his uh, trench coat and just tab it in right there and then the last step should have been just the uh, the arms tabbing in and that's it it does not look like the Corvette he transformed into. Kind of looks more like a Ferrari. I don't know. Or a Lamborghini. Maybe a Ferrari. I don't know. Kind of looks like Dino. Uh, but we'll see in the movie. I thought it was a Corvette. I thought it was still a Corvette. So there you go. Not too bad. Not too bad looking. Green and black. Not a lot to complain about. The green is a little bit... The camera is making it look cheap. Like cheap plastic. But it's not. It's actually a much dark green than the one in the camera. Not just regular green, not too bad. So, see him again in robot mode. Raise that up. Fold out his head. Open this up. 
And there you go. Crosshairs. He's going to get a 9 out of 10 for me. Not perfect. I wish there were more artic there was more articulation, better paint apps. But as it is, it's a very, very decent figure for the Legion class series of figures. Very nice. Very impressive. 9 out of 10. There you go, folks. Hope you enjoyed the video review. This has been the Transformers of the Last Night Legion class Crosshairs. Thanks for watching.